What's up, fruit lovers? But more importantly, what's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? What's in the box? <sighs> Way to go, dude. You said the name of the challenge. You want a cookie? Nope, but I do want to hear the rules. Well, they're very simple. You get presented with a box, and then you have to guess what's inside. Now, usually people get to feel around inside with their hands to help them guess, but not us. Yeah, our version is perfectly armless fun. <laughs> yeah. So here's the boxes I brought for you. And here's the one I brought for you. You go first. What do you think's inside? <laughs> hmm, gee, let me think. A hissing sound coming from inside a wooden crate with TNT written across the side. This is a real toughie, all right. What could it be? Gonna need an answer, Pear. Dude, it's TNT, obviously. Final answer. You heard him, folks. Pear guessed TNT. And now he'll open the box to see if he's right. Nah, <laughs> no he won't. Yes, he will. No, he won't. Yeah, fine. I'll just do it myself. I tire of this back and forth. <laughs> oh, so the hissing's just coming from a leaky tire? Well, that's a relief. Okay, now for my box. Wait, 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 Pear, you're not done. What do you mean? I opened the box, there was a tire inside. No, 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 you opened the crate. What are you saying? That the tire is actually the box and what, what the heck? Pear, you seem surprised. <laughs> well, yeah, dude, that cardboard box looked exactly like a tire. But I guess the hissing noise was actually coming from that snake the whole time. It sure was, and now I'm winning one to nothing on the scoreboard. <laughs> uh, okay, your turn to guess. What's inside? Hmm, this is a toughie. I have no arms, so I can't touch whatever's inside. I can't smell what's inside, and my non-existent ears don't detect any sounds. I guess I'll just have to put on my x-ray glasses. What? Oh, sorry, forgot your ears are non-existent too. I said I'm putting on my x-ray glasses. No, oh, yeah, dude, I heard you. I just doubt that those are real x-ray glasses because, you know, they don't exist. Well, if they don't exist, then how do I know it's a book titled Practical Applications of Quantum Theory? Oh my gosh, you're right. How the heck did you do that? Told ya, x-ray glasses. Well, th that's incredible. Let me try them. What? No way. You probably just want to see through my clothes, pervy McPerverson. Nah. Now, your turn again. See if you can guess what's in this box. Ah, well, it's a crate shaped exactly like a single stick of TNT, and there's a hissing coming from inside, so I'm definitely gonna go with TNT. You think so, wouldn't ya? Sorry, Pear, but you are mistaken once again. <laughs> yeah, the snake trick twice in one episode? You're losing your edge, dude. I don't have an edge, I'm a circle. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's not a snake. You opened a TNT-shaped crate, remember? So now you have to open the snake-shaped box. What? You're telling me that snake is a box? Yep, pretty convincing, huh? For a box, it was really expensive. <laughs> Great, so if it's not a snake making the hissing noise, that must mean inside is, uh, yep, real original orange. Unless. Unless what? Are you saying the stick of TNT is a box? I don't know, am I? <laughs> Give me the x-ray glasses, now. But. Now. <laughs> no, I knew it. I can't see anything inside. These glasses aren't x-ray glasses at all. Or maybe they are x-ray glasses and you can't see anything inside the TNT because it's actual TNT. Hmm, I guess I hadn't thought about that, but no, how could you have guessed the title of my book without x-ray glasses? Easy, I just came up with the most boring sounding book I could think of. <laughs> so I guess the only way to know if this is actually TNT is to wait for it to blow up. Guess so. Yeah, it's obviously fake. If it was real, it would have already blown up. <laughs> <laughs>